guys and welcome back to the music empire we bless god for the gift of life and we are here today for another lesson and i uploaded the cover of this lesson yesterday on our youtube channel uh, the title of the song is most blessed most glorious right that's the song we are coming to study and the title i gave to the cover i posted was this is how we play hymns at my church right yes because i was trying to really give you a picture of how we play hymns at my church sometimes there will be two keyboard players one will be doing the parts for the organs but mostly strings and parts that's what we mostly do and then the other person will be adding some piano feels to it just like how you saw in the cover now if you haven't come across the cover i'm talking about yet i've left the link in the description below it's a very beautiful and simple piece so i want us to explore what i was doing together okay now, since it's only me teaching the lesson, I don't have somebody to play the strings or the parts whilst I do pianos. Since I don't have anybody like that, I'll be blending the tunes together. Okay. Now, normally, one tip I can give you is the pianist does not overshadow the strings or parts player during such a hymn because hymn is mostly for that kind of tune, the parts or organs. The tune that helps you feel the background. So you, the pianist, is rather the accompaniment. So if you watch the cover very well, I was following, trying to follow melodically sometimes, and sometimes I wouldn't follow melodically, but I was not playing too much. Okay, that's the key here. Yes. If you want to understand more of these and the chords I use and everything, then do go to visit musicempire.com. The tunes I was using and how I was blending them and all that were explained in our courses. The intensive Ghanaian worship course, the contemporary gospel course, and, and even the praise and the high life, we, we take our time to explain how we come up with our tunes first before we even start teaching because tunes are very important. You can play all the nice chords in this, one, but if you don't have a good tune, if you're not using a good tone on the keyboard, it won't still come out well. So do well to visit musicempire.com. The link is also in the description below, just below the video. You see the link to our website there. Do well to visit musicempire.com. Get yourself a course and learn a lot for yourself. Okay, so now let's get started with this lesson. We'll be in the key of F. I believe we all know this one, right? Let's start from the immortal, invisible part, right? Now, since this is a hymn, we'll be following the melody, okay? So, uh, the first thing I will do is... And basically, we would have done right. So let's start, and then I'll show you how some of the course I was doing the cover. So I start on the three or the me to the four, then the fi or the flat five to the five. So like the E more then the in phrase. Okay. So uh, on the on the me on the three, I have. Uh, a two, five, and a one on my right hand. Okay. A two, five are on my right hand. Then to the four. Now look at the way I play the four. It's a, I'm, I'm playing a drop two. I'm not playing a full four. But I want a, a drop two. So what I have on my right hand is just a one and a six on my right hand. But you can still bring the four if you prefer. Okay. So, so like you have. Then on the flat five, this is what I have on the flat five. On the invisible, so on the flat five, I have the flat five or the fee and the flat seven, which is the tall. Then on my right hand, I have the milari, which is three, six, two. Okay, so then on the flat five to the five. So I play two chords on the five. The first chord I play is actually a four or the far chord. Okay, so B flat chord, which is what far la over the five. Or the four, six, one, over the five, and then to the five chord itself, which is the two, four, five, seven. So we have Yeah. Now I reason how I'm playing the five with just two chords. Sometimes doing it like this is very beautiful. Instead of playing the five directly, like uh, see, like uh, like I mean, this is 
night, but look at this. This one is, I prefer this one over this. Okay, so then we go to this. Now, but I wouldn't want us to do this. This is very good. This is a standard way that people will play. But we are coming to do this. Yeah, let's throw in some contemporary chords over here. Guys, that's why it's very important for you to get the contemporary chords if you haven't. It's in the contemporary chords that you learn these chords. Now look at how the chords are very beautiful. You see, still maintaining the melody. And I'm not being so wild about... I'm not, I'm not playing so wild. But it's still very sweet, right? Now let's explore these chords. We are still maintaining the first chord on the me. Okay? So we know this chord already. So da, da, then da. So on the on the on this next chord says it's a six, not a four. Right? So we have this is a six, a la chord. Now look at what I have on my left. La me do like six, three, one. If this is too much for you, just do an octave on your left hand, okay? So, so 6, 3, 6, an octave. And on your right hand, there's an A minor 7 chord, which is the 3, 5, 7, 2, okay? Or the 6. Yeah, so we have our 3 chord, which is the A augmented 7 sharp 9 chord, right? So, na, na. Then we come and play this our G13 chord, which is the two one or redo on the left. And on the right hand, I have the flat five, seven, three. Okay, so we have yes, so this melody is directly replacing this. This is nice, right? But now we are doing the number five. This is what we do on the five. So on the five, I have the five and two. So re on my left. On my right hand, I have the four, six, two. Fa la re. And to the do. Yeah, I prefer to do this. But I'll show you very soon. So we have. Instead of playing the do directly, this is a very different trick that we use a lot. So instead of playing the do directly like this, we do. This is how it is. See, take a look at my pinky fingers. They are all on the do. Okay, they are all on the do. Then we do. Uh, in between, we will do a la on the left hand, or a six on the left hand, and then a four on the right hand. So it's like play these two together. So like we have um, then we just bring this four down to the three, you bring this six down to the five. So yeah, and then you technically have your two, right? So we have um, to try it slowly, it's very sweet. Instead of playing the do like you will do then the song will, 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 will repeat right so we have then now we come to the most blessed part which is uh, So on the most blessed we have a lot see do six seven one so on the six now I'll, I'll be using source chords over here so we have a regular la octave or six octave and then i have the one four five one right on my left on my right hand do far so so we take the same chord to the e so i have a, an e octave which is the c octave right the seven octave and i have two 
562. On my right hand, so we have take the same code to the one. So on the one, you have the one octave, and then I have the three, six, seven, three. Okay, it's very easy to play because they follow successive each other. Now, instead of playing, um, let's see. No, I won't do that. See this course. Look at this course. Then, most, most glorious. You take it across. So it's like you're playing um, from the six down to the three, or from the six up to the three, using the same chord. So we have. This is the most glorious. So over here. I chose not to play the melody. I could have done um, but I'm trying to play it the contemporary way so I have most glorious. So I'm harmonizing with the melody itself. Okay. So now we have done the blessed. Now we have the two. On the two I have the two octaves still. On my right hand, I have the four flat seven this time. One, four. Okay? This is over your two or your record. So, five, tall, two, five. Okay. So, I have. Uh, then I have. Then on the three, I have a three octave. Okay? And then on my right hand, I have the five, one, two, five. So, these are all source chords played in succession. So. Yeah, on the six, I have these diminished movements. I, I do a lot. Yeah, to the six. Melodically as well. It's like... Um, so this is a plane. On the six, we'll do... Okay. Now let's take a look at these words. We have... Um, We have a D diminished seventh chord, which is the 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 la do mon, fi la do. Or we have the six one flat three flat five six one. Okay, that's a D diminished seventh chord. So we look at this chord carefully. We take this same chord down to the E. Okay, we're taking this same chord down to the E. Then it becomes the E diminished seventh chord, which is the E G. That's why we see sharp E and then F. So it's like the, the 7, 2, 4, plus 6, 7, 2. So like D, then the 6. Okay, so we have. Yeah, so this is, this is, this, this, are, this is me using some different subject to, to, to voice out that melody over there. Now, this is one of what I have, we have on the 6. We have the 6, 3, 1. And then this time we have the five, seven, three. The second inversion of the six. Sorry, the first inversion of the six. No. So we have the five, seven, three. Okay. Mm. So we have the right. Then there was this chord I, I was training a lot. Yeah. So from the six to the two. Five. Now we know the five already, but let me show you the two. On the two, what I have is uh, a two and a one on my left, and then I have the flat five, seven, two on my right. So let's combine everything together to be a. This part is covering the most blessed, most glorious, the ancient of these. Could have done. Right. Now we are doing like this. Yeah. Then from here we we'll go to there. Is it? Going to that part, so 
we have the that's the almighty right the almighty look at the do and play i have the the do 13 so which is the do or the f or your one plus seven do two and on my right hand i'm playing the three six three okay it's a very simple word but it's a sort of power in it so uh, Kind of what I'm doing like four. I have the four and the one. On my right hand, I have the six, three, one. Now I can I can voice it like this. So like we have okay. So that it goes to the melody. So victorious. Now we know this chord already. Remember what you did earlier. So victorious. Let's do it like that. So we have the. Then we do our chord. See, then we are done with the song. So let's take it from the top. Let's take it from the top. We have. So guys, this is our approach, my approach to a contemporary style of play when it comes to hymns. You see, we try to maintain the melody, we try to make it very beautiful. We don't try to go overboard. We, 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 are, we are not turning a hymn into a jazz. Okay. So I believe these chords are enough and they are very beautiful. Yes, I mean, if you get the right parts and strings and the right piano, you are good to go. Like I said, all the explanations to obtaining such tones are explaining our process because I believe we are not all using the same keyboard or we, we are not even all using the same software if I should give you the direct way of my set if I should give you my direct settings over here or how my, my direct approach on my keyboard or on my, my software my PC you may not have the same thing then what will you do doesn't mean you can never produce what I'm producing no you can do it so we have explained all these into details in our courses. So just do what to visit musicandbuy.com. Understand how to come up with these tools and then manufacture your own key. With that being said, God bless you so much. Let's meet in our next lesson.